going to study chapter 7 good habits and safety rules from class 2 nso science olympiad workbook 2023 we already covered chapters from 1 to 6 so go and check out the playlist if you have not subscribed the channel do so because we are really trying to help you in your olympiad journey so let's get started what all could be asked from this chapter? Good habits to stay healthy, safety rules at home, school, playground and other places and first aid. Good habits to follow. Don't bite nails, don't eat fallen food, don't spit on road, cover your mouth and nose while sneezing so that germs do not spread, coughing or yawning. Throw garbage in dustbin, keep your area clean. Wash hands with soap after going to the toilet to avoid germs. Ways to stay healthy. Brush twice a day. Are you doing that? Bath daily. I hope you all are doing that. Exercise regularly. It keeps our body fit. Take proper meal. It helps and give us energy. Comb hair. Neat and tidy. Trim nails. Neat and tidy. Wash hands. Our hygiene. Sleep 8 hours daily for our healthy life. Now let's see some safety rules given in this chapter. What are the rules to follow on road? Always walk on footpath. While walking use zebra crossing to cross the road. Do not run or play near the road. Obey the traffic lights. Red stop. Yellow wait. Green go. Rules to follow at school, never run around the corridor, do not climb on desk and chair or jump on them, do not run up or down the stairs. And safety rules to be followed in playground, never push or pull your friends while playing, follow the rules of the games while playing. At home, do not play with fire, electric wires or plug points, sharp objects like scissors, knives and blades. Never touch hot surfaces like oven, toaster, heater, etc. These were some safety rules. There are many other to follow also. Okay, there are cyber safety rules also. And uh, while swimming, while moving on a vehicle. So there are many which you should be aware of. The immediate help given to an injured person before the doctor arrives is called first aid box. Go and check with your mom whether you guys are having first aid box at home or not and see what all things are there in that. Other safety rules, always swim in the presence of an adult and preferably wear the tubes also. During festivals, light candles with the help of adults, light firecrackers under adult supervision. Now that is all from the theoretical portion of this chapter. Now we'll do some practical questions. Practice questions 1. Dash is the immediate help given to a person who is hurt before the doctor comes. We talked about it, right? The right answer here is B. First aid. First aid is the immediate help given to a person who is hurt before the doctor comes. It involves cleaning of wound, preventing blood flow, tying broken bones uh, to prevent further damage, etc. Question 2. Which of the following is a bad habit? Now here, one person is sneezing but covering his mouth. Second, the dustbin is being used to throw garbage. C is that a boy is cleaning his ear with some sharp object alone. And D is a girl is helping to keep the room tidy. Okay, so here the bad habit is option C. We should not clean our ears with knitting needles or any sharp object as this can cause injury. Question 3. Which of the following is the most important practice to stay healthy? A. Exercising outdoors in fresh air. Hmm, this seems correct to me. So we have already got the answer. But let's see others also. Saying thank you when someone does you a favor. No, this is a good habit. But it is not something which we do to stay healthy sharing your things with your friends again sharing is caring but not to stay healthy right praying before a meal to offer thanks to god this is a good habit for sure but not for staying healthy so b c d are good habits which are not related to health a is the correct answer 
so exercising outdoor in fresh air helps us to clean, stay healthy or mania and siddhi were playing suddenly siddhi fell down and started crying mania should run away from there no start crying with siddhi no wipe the wound carefully with her hands or call an adult immediately now here the best option is option d while playing if any of our friends get hurt or fall down we should call an adult immediately and seek help from them question 5 refer to the given picture is the boy following safety rules now let's observe that boy is flying the kite alone on the terrace and you can see there is no railing over there also so it is highly unsafe right so the right answer here is option d no because he is flying kite on terrace without railing question 6 we should never play with matchbox and matchstick this is correct football we should play blade no these both are not safe for us both a and c so option d is the correct answer we should never play with matchbox and matchstick as they can cause fire we should also not play with objects that have sharp edges like blades knives etc as they can cause a cut question 7 which of the following activities you should avoid when you are alone at home light the gas stove to boil milk for yourself yes we should avoid we should wait or ask some adult iron your school uniform for next day again this is related to electricity we should not do that answer the doorbell to a stranger this is also something which we should avoid if adult is not there in our home so all of these we should avoid when you are alone at home option d is the right answer question 8 ashok goes to school on a bicycle which of these safety rules should he follow he should keep to the right of the road no that's incorrect he should give signals before taking turns this is correct he should cross the road by using zebra crossing no that's for pedestrians and d all of these no so the right safety rule is option b he should give signals before taking turns for bicycle question 9 refer to the safety rule written on the board when you swim do not play rough games in the pool always swim in the deep end always take a swimming tube with you avoid swimming with a grown up near you which of these safety rules is are correct okay let's see do not play rough games in the pool this is definitely correct because one should uh, uh, not play any rough game it can cause drowning then always swim in the deep end no this should be avoided always take a swimming tube with you absolutely correct because as a beginner one should use swimming tube and swim with uh, swim under the supervision of a grown one avoid swimming with a grown up near you no this is incorrect because we should we should go with a grown up so 1 and 3 only are correct so option a is the right answer question 10 which of these should you avoid doing at home okay we are playing kids are playing this can be done right one kid is handling gas stove now this seems incorrect we should never try to touch lit burners or hot utensils in the kitchen as this can cause serious injury to us so option b is something which you should avoid Pooja after playing with toys i keep them back in their proper place Deepika if you do not you or someone else might trip on them mm, nice conversation read the above conversation and select the correct option regarding them pooja is right while deepika is wrong no deepika is also right and pooja is also right both pooja and deepika are right correct deepika made the correct explanation of statement given by pooja that is also correct why pooja does that why pooja keep everything back in the proper place one is tidiness and the other one is some might somebody might trip so both b and c are correct statement the right option here is option d which of the following children is least likely to get hurt now you need to see what all are doing so a they are using zebra crossing which is the safest then b 
somebody is taking their hand out of the moving bus this is unsafe see one boy is trying to catch a moving bus this is also unsafe d boy is using the knife this is also unsafe so least likely to get hurt is a because they are following the safety rule question 13 which of the following statements are not correct regarding food habits eat well cooked food this is correct eating stale food is good for health no this is incorrect because stale food is not good for health as it may contain harmful germs that can make us sick eating food with same type of single nutrient every day keeps us healthy no because it means that one is not taking the balanced diet we should eat a balanced diet having a variety of nutrients to keep us healthy eat meals at regular intervals absolutely correct so incorrect statements were 2 and 3 so the right option is option a 2 and 3 only question 14 ramesh takes healthy diet daily still he falls ill frequently what could be the reason for it he does not do his homework daily no this has nothing to do with sickness he does not trim his nails regularly yes this could be something because dirt and germs collect under long nails and enter our mouth with food that we eat so dirty hands also carry germs and these germs when enter our body cause diseases right and he does not wash his hands properly before eating so again dirty hands right so these both b and c are the reason or might be the reason so option d is the right one question 15 it is not a good habit to throw waste into the dustbin no it's good habit put clean water for birds to drink it is also a good habit waste food by taking excess food than needed now this is not at all a good habit so option c is our option to a section hot 16 match column 1 with column 2 and select the correct option so column 1 is having safety rules and column 2 is related to activity so here it is mentioned keep sitting now keep sitting will match traveling because while traveling we should be seated so a matches 3 take a rubber tube should be for swimming b matches 2 use a park or garden that would be for playing c matches 1 use the foot bath that is for walking so d matches 4 right option here is option b a 3 b 2 c 1 and d 4 Question 17 the given things can be dangerous as they are they all are ha, have sharp edges which can cut your hands not all okay there are two but not all can catch fire easily and can burn you again there are two out out of these but not all will catch fire are chemical and can be harmful again not all so none of these is the right answer option d because here it is mentioned the given things can be dangerous as they all that means whatever statement has been put over here in a b c it should apply to all but it is not the case some are sharp edges one can catch fire easily one is chemical right so option d is none of these Question 18. Study the given classification chart and select the correct option regarding it. Safety rule: at home, at school, on the road, or while playing. So we have to see the options, and then we have to see which one is correct in terms of whether it is at home, at school, on the road, or while playing. A option is E. Do not stand in the queue. E is for school, and we should stand in queue in school, right? So this is incorrect. B. D is do not touch stove heater toaster or electric fan when they are switched on and D is for home and this is absolutely correct because at home one should not touch stove heater toaster or electric fan when they are switched on now C is G do not fly kites in open field so this is incorrect for you know while playing because fly the kites in open fields and never on the terrace without railings F 
cross the road at the zebra crossing when the traffic light is green for vehicles no because then at that time vehicles would be moving right so our correct option is option b directions question number 19 and 20 refer to the given word grid and answer the following questions question 19 the safety tool used in which of the following sports is not hidden in the given grid so first let's search the safety tool which is hidden in the grid and i got helmet now helmet is used in cycling also cricket also skating also but not in swimming for swimming safety tools are like floats goggles swimming cap etc so option c is right answer for us question 20 how many items that are found in the first aid box are hidden in the given word grid okay let's search cotton bandage and scissors so option b 3 is the right answer so with this we have studied chapter 7 good habits and safety rules from class 2 and so workbook 2023 do like the video and subscribe to the channel if you have not yet done check out the playlist which are there in the channel for olympiad and other educational video we will be posting other chapters very soon thank you bye bye